we don't have a funnel which goes from I've, there's eight things I'm considering to four things and then I'm going to buy the last things. It starts with, oh, I got a few, an idea of the category. I sort of know some things. And then you do a whole bunch of research and the middle becomes big and chaotic before you then make a decision. So that's a hard behavior, I think, to engineer against if you're a marketer. The traditional funnel is shaped like an hourglass. And what I mean by that is at the top, we've got this this more mature tribe of marketers that are really good at telling stories. They understand what a brand is, but they maybe aren't as up to date with how to use media and new modern media and technology. And then you've got a, a tribe down the bottom of performance marketers that really understand media and technology, but maybe don't, don't dignify that world with the sort of craft and storytelling that the top does. And so if I was to be unkind, I would say the top is making beautiful things that no one sees and the bottom is making really ugly things that everyone sees. And why this is particularly ruinous for the industry is, is that if the, if the industry is shaped like an hourglass, the customers are behaving like an onion. So ironically, the industry is shaped uh, in a way that has vacated the very place that customers are making these decisions. We need to build teams that can create more demonstrative moments, you know, moments of comparison, but do it in a really artful and beautiful way. And even, I think, do that at the top of the funnel.